Hello everyone, welcome to video number two. In the last video I said I would make a second video where you would kind of get to know who I am and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Before we go into this basic info, I just want to give a shout out to Organic Milk. I am a huge milk drinker. Love milk of all varieties. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, caramel, coffee milk. Oh, my mom always buys milk. And recently she bought organic milk. I don't know why. She bought organic milk. I think before that we just had like, you know, classic like plastic gallon milk. Now organic milk comes in a little carton. It's a little bit shaped differently. So she started buying it one day. Oh my god. Um, so we got this milk and I've been drinking it. Now I'm hooked on organic milk. Went to Target today. Got this new brand of organic milk. Took a sip of it. It was good. Okay, no more milk talk, so now, um, who am I? So obviously my name is Ryan. Where am I from? I am from the wonderful state of Connecticut. The great state, kind of. Taxes are a little high, you know. But, great place to grow up, it's um, very beautiful state. I think it's I think it's highly underrated. I think it's underrated. It's a great state for the most part. I am 20 years old. That's really old. Not really. But that's like a quarter of a life. That's really old. Yeah, I turned 20 recently and I had like a quarter life crisis kind of where I realized like, damn, that's like really old and I kind of like how to process it. Okay, words to describe myself. Um, the first one would be driven. Um, I'm extremely, extremely ambitious, and it's kind of like not a good thing. I mean, it is a good thing, but I'm very hard on myself, and if I don't accomplish something, I kind of beat myself up over it. Um, but it's it's a good, definitely a good trait to have because it has gotten me um, pretty far. Um, without it, I wouldn't be an orientation leader, I wouldn't be a resident assistant, so I think um, driven is definitely a good way to describe me. I like to describe myself as genuine, um, because I know deep down that I actually care about people um, and want to make a difference in people's lives, um, so I would definitely describe myself as a genuine person, and uh, when someone gets to know me, they will find that too. Another word, philosophical. What is philosophy? Hmm. I always notice that about myself. I really kind of question everything and um, have a drive to figure out what is everything? What's the purpose? What's the meaning? I really don't like small talk. I like deep, meaningful conversations. So I'd definitely say philosophical would be um, a word to describe me. And then the last word would be sensible. I've been described as sensible during orientation. Um, we had this little mascot, his name was Stuart, he's a minion. And um, each letter of Stuart stood for something and the S in Stuart stood for sensible. And um, from all the orientation leaders, I was chosen to receive sensible as my letter. Um, I definitely think I'm very like, level-headed, calm, and sensible. Ooh, so now I'm gonna do favorites. Oh, I love favorites. Favorite color. My first favorite color is purple. My second favorite color is mint, like the color of my shirt. And my third favorite color is orange. My favorite numbers are 11 and 44. And it was really strange because just as I was about to film this video, I was looking at the clock and it was 11.44. That is weird. One thing about me is that I am cinematically uncultured. I have never seen a movie. Well, I have not never seen a movie, but there are a lot of movies I haven't seen, such as Titanic, Jaws, and a ton more that I bet you I haven't seen and I probably shouldn't have. I really love um, Chicken Tiki Masala. Um, that is definitely like one of my like 
favorite, favorite meals of all time. Favorite fruit is blueberries. Favorite vegetable is onion. And favorite snack is whales. So two more things um, that I think are like really big parts of me. Um, one is that I'm like pretty spiritual. Um, I really value like people and positive energy and positive thinking and nature and just um, being happy and being spiritual and being open-minded. And then the last thing is that I'm an INFJ. Um, that is a Myers-Briggs personality type. Uh, Myers-Briggs is a personality test and when you take it, you get assigned um, four different letters. The INFJ stands for introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging. So those four letters make up INFJ. It's actually the world's rarest personality type. 1% um, of the population is INFJ. And I think that's like really cool that I'm such a rare personality type. So when I found out that I was an INFJ, I did a little bit of research on it and kind of started understanding like what it really meant to be an INFJ. And I just started reading and I was like, wow, like this is me. And I started learning things about myself from reading about INFJs. And I was like, wow, like I do that. And wow, I think that way. And wow, that makes sense um, why I felt that way that one time. Oh, and I recently took the Pottermore house sorting quiz, and I'm a Slytherin. And I really, I can see why, because I'm kind of like, have like, I guess like a mysterious, like kind of, um, intuitive, inquisitive type of, um, vibe with me. Um, but I think it's really interesting, Slytherin, hmm. So, to say goodbye, I think it'd be wonderful to leave off on a little quote that I recently uh, came across, and it's this thing. Live the life you have imagined. Embrace your youth. You're only this young right now. No excuses. Go out. Do your thing. And remember, 400 trillion.